now we've got Dow futures up 102. Having said that, some laggards in the tech sector, specifically Facebook, which is down 3% pre-market after Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, announced some changes to uh, the algorithms that uh, uh, basically direct media feeds in your social media accounts on Facebook. We'll talk more about that at 26 past the hour. We're looking at the price for oil reverse after hitting a three-year high overnight, down 35 cents, 63.45. Canadian dollar down a tenth of a cent, 79.83. At the Business Center, I'm Mike Apple. Big City News 5714. Get up to $1,000 toward becoming retire ready with TD Wealth Financial Planning. A division of TD Waterhouse Canada Inc. Conditions apply. Offer ends March 1st, 2018. TD.com slash financial planning. Every small to medium sized business has one. The IT guy that isn't really an IT guy that everyone depends on to fix their IT problems. At first it was no big deal. Just people looking to change a password or print something. Next thing I know, we're talking DDoS attacks, cloud migration, and something called autocation. Oh boy. Do you have any idea how much money this company loses every time the server goes down? As a matter of fact, who do these people think I am? Some kind of tech head and ninja code writing cloud hosting Google? Well, actually, that sounds exactly like us. I'm the president. I don't have time for this. That's okay, because we do. We're apps on net. Apps on what? Apps on net. And we're it when it comes to managed IT services for small to medium sized business. Go on. Endpoint support, network security, proactive maintenance. Cloud hosting? 100%. Guaranteed? Guaranteed. So? Get the relief you need with IT support from apps on net. Visit us online, all game, no phone, .ca. Mark 
sales team specializes in unfiled tax returns, amending tax returns, undeclared income, negotiations with CRA, audits and appeals, voluntary disclosures. When the CRA comes calling, get markfeldstein.ca to fight back today. Visit markfeldstein online at markfeldstein.ca or call from your mobile now at pound tax. That's the pound sign tax. The city of Utah at 718. We were talking a lot about U.S. President Trump this morning. Well, here's a little bit more. Trump confirming now that he's canceled next month's trip to London, England, because he doesn't want to come to Russia to open the new U.S. Embassy there. Now, the president, in a tweet, blamed the Obama administration, calling it a bad real estate deal. Tom Rayner of Sky News reports. This is a president sort of clutching his straws, if you like, trying to find excuses for not making uh, a safe visit, or indeed any visit, because uh, the visit that was planned was not due to be uh, anything more than a working visit. The concerns over the safety that has been uh, that there may be protests, Donald Trump has been suggested didn't want to come to the UK, if that was going to be the case. Now, Theresa May invited Trump for a safe visit when she became the first world leader to visit the president in the White House about a year ago. The Army Corps of Engineers will begin removing debris in Santa Barbara County, California today after this week's deadly mudslide. NBC's Alex Stone with the latest. Pulling in heavy equipment, the Army Corps of Engineers will begin trying to figure out how to get massive boulders, pieces of homes and cars out of the area so eventually roads can be reopened. Because of all that heavy equipment coming in, the mandatory evacuation zone is being expanded to include more of Montecito. Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown says residents need to leave. We are anticipating that this will be in effect for at least a week. I would recommend that you actually prepare for as many as two weeks. Highway 101 remains closed. Alex Stone, EDC News. And coming up, wait, movies aren't exactly like real life? The TTC explains why the film The Commuter isn't super accurate. 6.30 News Time, 7.20. The ultimate celebration of the Jersey Boys, Jersey Night, live at Niagara Falls View Casino. From February 6th to 13th, experience Jersey Night, a tribute to the greatest hits of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, the songs that you know and love, live at Niagara Falls View Casino. Visit FallsViewCasinoResort.com for tickets. Jersey Night, live February 6th to 13th at Niagara Falls View Casino. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. And it could be in your street drugs. But you won't know until it's too late. What is it? It's fentanyl. And consuming even the tiniest amount could be enough to kill you. If you take street drugs, try not to take them alone. Be prepared and pick up a free naloxone kit at a pharmacy. Find out more at Ontario.ca slash overdose. Paid for by the government of Ontario. City News Time, 721. Time for traffic and weather together on the ones brought to you by Sportsnet. Here's Daryl Dahmer. Getting quite heavy eastbound on the uh, 401 east of the Guelph line down the hill toward the Kelso Conservation Area. Last check, uh, we'd had problems there on the shoulder. You'll find up on 404 Della Valley, busy through Stoneville Road, south of Elgin Mills to south of Major McKenzie, busy at the base of the Della Valley. Uh, 404 combination, Shepherd Collectors to the 401 ramp, south Della Valley, busy through Lawrence. Another delay south Della Valley through Don Mills, westbound lanes of the 401. Uh, building out of Whitby of Brock Street over to west of the 412, and now slow downs all the way west 401 from Markham to Avenue Road Express and Collectors to the 680 Traffic Center. Here, George Kerr. Police found on the QEW east of 3rd Line. Problems have cleared. All lanes are open, but it's still backed up from Appleby. A delay eastbound QEW through Mississauga Road, and then delays eastbound on the Gardner from just east of the Humber Bridge to the Spadina Ramp, and then Jarvis Ramp eastbound on the 403. Slow through Aaron Mills on and off to Cure, Ontario. Southbound on the 410. Delays approaching San with the Queen. Westbound on the Gardner, that's filled in from Spadina to west of Jamison, then from Kipling Express and Collectors to the 427 ramp. Northbound on the 427, delays north of Rathbird in the Express to the 401. And we have traffic lights out on Queensway at Sherway Gardens Road. Join us in Cam Loops as the Canucks face the Wild. Rogers Hometown Hockey is Sunday at 7.30 on Sportsnet. With the forecast, meteorologist Jill Taylor. The rain and very mild for us right now, but a big change on the way. We'll get into some freezing rain and then some snow as we work
work through the afternoon. Now, right now, that show changeover to the freezing rain and snow takes place in the Owen Sound area by about 12 noon. Toronto will be dealing with a little bit of freezing rain and then snow by about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Could collect about 3 centimeters. Should be out of the way by 6 o'clock. The falling temperatures guaranteed high 12 degrees by noon, about 0, and then minus 6 by 3 p.m. It'll feel a lot colder with that gusty a northwest wind. It's southwest right now, then a northwest wind. It'll feel like minus 27 early tomorrow. Still the possibility of some snow, otherwise varying amounts of sun and cloud tomorrow and sunshine for Sunday. Right now, the wind out of the southwest. We've got rain, 12 degrees of Pearson 9 at 680 News. The guaranteed high today, plus 12, falling temperatures this afternoon. Coming up at 7.30, our Jamie Pulfer has the latest on school bus cancellations in the GTA and flight cancellations over at Pearson. The 680 News Extreme Weather Center is open. 680 News time, 7.23. Less is more. No, it's not. Less is less. More is more. And more is what we give our customers each and every day. 20 dealerships working together can do more for the customer than one dealership could ever possibly do alone. More choice, more options, better service. The more we put in, the more you get out. The Humberview Group. 20 stores, 17 brands, 10,000 vehicles, one promise. Serving our customers better each and every day. Shop online at HumberviewGroup.com. When that business meeting first thing in the morning is really important, you need to listen to the best traffic reports every 10 minutes. On 680 News. 680 News Time 724. Well, there is a new movie out starring Liam Neeson. It is called The Commuter. It's about a man who gets caught up in a murder conspiracy after meeting a woman while on his commute on the subway train. It happens every day, doesn't it? Well, who better to review this movie than the face and the voice of the TTC? Our own Jeff Holman is here with Brad Ross's take on the movie written for the Globe and Mail. Jeff? Yeah, Steve. Brad Ross wrote this piece for the Globe, kind of reviewing the movie by explaining how unrealistic it is while trying to be funny in the process. With one like I imagined a storyline that had Neeson's daughter stuck on a shuttle bus or worse, waiting for a shuttle bus because the subway was closed for signal upgrades, frantically calling her negligent father on the verge of hate tweeting. Or maybe Neeson's daughter and wife were delayed on a crowded train trying to decipher announcements, all while staring in horror at a bag occupying a seat. Okay, that's pretty funny. Now he goes on to describe what you should or shouldn't do should this movie play out in real life, like you should press the yellow button if you see or hear gunshots. You shouldn't climb under the train and try to roll out under it while it's moving. Okay, those are a little funny, but where he loses me is where he says more than half of the TTC delays are caused by commuters because we always just start updating signals or upgrading the tracks. Jeff Rahoman, 680 News. 680 News Time, 725. If life were like the new hit or miss ladder game, you would cheer when your favorite player struck out. You'd be thrilled to bowl badly. Yes! Butterball! And you'd miss the right notes every time you were jamming. Because in the hit or miss lottery game, missing can be a good thing. Win $250,000 by matching all or none of your numbers. Buy the new hit or miss lottery game in store today. Download the OLG lottery app to watch the draw. Get game ready, Canada. Toyota's Drive for Gold event is here. Discover great offers on a wide range of Toyota models during these winter games. So hurry in to the Toyota Drive for Gold event while it lasts. Right now, lease a 2018 Camry LE for $79 weekly for 39 months at 2.49% APR with 3200 down. At your Ontario Toyota dealer, real people, great cars. See get your Toyota up the A for DC. Now, the 680 News Business Report. Over to the Business Center now. Mike Apple, good morning. Good morning, Steve. We've got shares of Facebook down more than 4% this morning in pre-market activity on a move by the company CEO and founder, Mark Zuckerberg, that could lead to less advertising revenue coming into the social media giants. Zuckerberg, in a blog post last night, said that he is going to make some changes to the uh, Facebook algorithms, shifting users' news feeds back to work posts from friends and family and away from businesses and media outlets. This 
follows a year of criticism for Facebook and Twitter and Google from lawmakers regarding the posting of fake news leading into the U.S. 2016 election. Uh, Zuckerberg saying that community feedback has shown that public content has been crowding out the personal moments that lead us to connect more with each other. That lead to less advertising revenue again and less user interaction, Zuckerberg says. But uh, longer term, he thinks it'll be good for the company. Short term, stock of Facebook down more than 4%. It was up 44% last year. Dow futures up 103 points. Looks to extend yesterday's massive uptrend that had the Dow up 205 to another record-breaking high. The TSX coming off a gain of 39 points. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company in with earnings this morning to kick off the quarterly earnings season. Fourth quarter profit down 37% as the bank took a one-time charge in its results due to the recently passed Trump tax bill. Still made four and a quarter billion dollars and J.P. Morgan and all the other big banks says the uh, tax Tax reform will lead to some short-term pain, but longer-term gain. Price for oil down 46 cents, 63.34 dollar down a tenth of a cent, 79.86. At the business center, I'm Mike Apple. A new year means a new chance to drive home the 2018 Ford F-150, the most capable F-150 ever. Get the job done like a pro with great features like the classic versus military grade aluminum body. Right now, get it for 0% APR purchase financing for 72 months on select new models. Plus, your first three months payments are covered up to $1,500. Whatever the challenge, bring it in the 2018 F-150. Visit your local Ford store or find your Ford.ca. with up to 50% off last-minute deals. Plan your perfect winter vacation today at redtag.ca. Well, look, we're not the only place with rain right now. Expecting rain in Miami at 28 degrees, rain in Havana in 28 degrees, rain in uh, Nassau in 28 degrees, and guess what? Rain in Rio and 33 degrees. It's rain in downtown Toronto and 8 degrees. The news watch never stops. 680 News, live 24-7. It's 730. In for Paul Cook, good morning, I'm Steve Roberts, here's the top stories this hour. Late today, and the weather will change. Fog, rain, freezing rain, snow, welcome to the roller coaster. The 680 News Extreme Weather Center is open with all your delays and cancellations. The coming quick freeze has police warning drivers. The drive-in this morning was easy, the drive home this afternoon, it's going to be a tough one for everybody. Because what is wet now will be icy. Firefighters on scene of a two-story building in Oshawa where flames broke out early this morning. International outrage over President Trump's vulgar remarks about Haitians and Africans during an Oval Office meeting on immigration. A huge night for the Raptors as they embarrass the Cavaliers. And the Calgary Flames have won five in a row. Sports at 45. Could be more records set on Wall Street today. And after the Dow jumped 200 points plus, it's up by 100 points on the stock futures. Earnings in from J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. Sun Life talking about its U.S. tax bill. Business at 56. 6.30 New Time, 7.31. Time for 6.30 News. Traffic and weather together on the ones for lows. Here is Daryl Dahmer. You're going to find spot on the 401. It's heavy going. And uh, this is past the Kelso Conservation Area. Had been problems on the shoulder. Building east on the 401 in Milton through Trafalgar Road. Again, uh, east on the 401. You're going to find slowdowns approaching Mississauga Road over to east of Mavis. That is east on the 401 east of Dixie Collectors to the south 427 ramp. Slowdowns east 401, 427 Western Road Express. East of 400 Collectors. East 409 getting busy approaching Kipling out of the 401 ramp and the East 401 to South on Young ramp that remains closed for ongoing construction and repairs on South on Young and Wilson.
stalling cars themselves on the 401, where the two right lanes are still blocked from the beginning traffic. Well, we found on the QEW, slow approaching app will be the east of third line, and busy from Dorval to Trafalgar. And we had problems eastbound QEW and Mississauga Road. They quickly cleared. In fact, I'm approaching Mississauga Road. That'll change shortly. On the eastbound Gardner, it's slow east of the Humber Bridge to the Sedina Ram and then Jarvis Ram. Southbound on the 410, delays approaching Sandalwood on and off to Queen. Tompkins at Steele's Law lanes were blocked and southbound Tompkins at Steele's down to a single lane. Because of an issue, if you're there, could update us and be appreciated. A free call star 680 on your cell phone. The Rose Buy More Save More event is back now till January 17th. The more you buy, the more you save on thousands of items. Some exclusions apply. Details in store lows never stop improving. With the forecast, meteorologist Jill Taylor. A big change with the weather on the wane. It's going to get a lot colder. Rain to freezing rain and snow today. Flash freeze warning right now includes areas like Mount Forest, Innisfil, and Dufferin, but icy conditions for many this afternoon. Right now, light wind out of the southwest. The wind will pick up out of the southwest, and then a northwest cold wind. Rain, 11 degrees right now at Pearson, 9 with light rain at 680 News. The guaranteed high, 12 degrees with falling temperatures this afternoon. 680 News time, 733. <laughs> to work in school this morning, but concerns over a potentially icy and snowy drive home have prompted school bus cancellations to the north and east of the city. The 60 News Extreme Weather Center is open. Our Jamie Pulfer joins us with everything you need to know, and, well, Jamie, it's, it's a lot, right? Yeah, the 680 News Extreme Weather Center brought to you by Air Transat. Visit airtransat.com and driversfirst.ca, operated by Arthur J. Gallagher, Canada Limited. We have all school buses canceled today in York Region, Durham Region, and Simcoe County. This is all due to the weather, but schools remain open. I've had some people tweeting me, asking about some other areas. But if your school board is not on this list, that means buses are still running today. At Pearson Airport, more than 200 flights have been canceled already. Half a dozen flights affected at Billy Bishop Airport. Air Canada and WestJet with travel advisories for Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, and the U.S. Northeast. Toronto and the GTA currently under a special weather statement. The rain and fog an issue this morning, then icy conditions taking over with freezing rain and snow. All of this as temperatures plummet as the cold front moves in. Our meteorologist Jill Taylor with the timeline. We'll have the on and off showers up until about 8 or 9 o'clock this morning. Then a period of heavier rain that will switch over to freezing rain around 12 noon. And then snow between 2 and about 6 p.m. And the wild weather also affecting the new Bentway skating trail under the Gardner. Now closed with the ice conditions affected by the temperature. It also means the DJ party planned for tonight has also been canceled. Reporting live at the Extreme Weather Center, Jamie Pulper, 680 News. Well, happening now in Markham, Electra says it is now working on a power outage affecting over 600 customers this morning. It's affecting people in an area south of the 407 between Young and Bayview. So far, though, there is no restoration time. Well, whether it's the rain this morning or slippery conditions this afternoon, the weather is going to be a factor as you get around the city today. 680's Carl Hansky joins us live now from the East End with a first-hand look at the conditions. Carl. Hi, guys. When the pouring rain coming down now, you can hear it behind me. We'll turn to freezing rain, then snow with temperatures do a free fall during the day. And that has police preparing for problems. When you see a sudden transition from wet roads to icy roads, drivers are not prepared. That results in collisions, delays, and frustration for everybody. The drivers are reminded to slow down and leave extra room here at Bathurst and Lakeshore. Downtown's Welder Freya is cutting her day short today not to face the snow and ice. Absolutely, yes. Um, doing some meetings early in Markham and then heading back downtown. To miss the worst of it? To miss the worst of it, yeah. The bad weather and rush hours are not the greatest mix. At one point last night in the dark and rainy conditions, 12 pedestrians were struck across the city in just 90 minutes. Morning live at Bathurst and Lakeshore. Carl Hansky, the City News. 680 News Time, 736. Well, happening now in Oshawa, crews are working to put out a fire in Simcoe and Brewer this morning. Flames broke out around 5 o'clock in a two-story building, which includes a car parts store. Now, the cause of the fire is still unclear, and no reports of anyone hurt so far. This is 680 News. This being called vulgar, offensive, 
A new low. People in his own country and beyond are speaking out against U.S. President Donald Trump after he used an expletive to describe some countries from which the U.S. accepts migrants. 680 political affairs specialist John Stahl is here live with the stunning comment and the international reaction. John. Well, in brief, he reportedly asked during an Oval Office meeting on immigration why the U.S. would want people from S-hole countries like Haiti and Africa. Somebody in the room told the Washington Post about it, and now the international fallout is raging online and in headlines around the world. Time magazine screams, the world is outraged. The Daily News runs a three-word description of Trump on its front page that he has beep for brains. CNN's correspondent Pariah Savenzo weighs in this morning from Nairobi. My personal reaction was was uh, shock, really, and uh, a little bit surprised that uh, this kind of foot in mouth kind of verbal accident keeps coming out from the leader of the free world. The former president of Haiti called the remarks totally unacceptable. But it shows a lack of respect and ignorance never seen before by any president. CNN's Anderson Cooper recalled his time in Haiti covering the magnitude 7.1 earthquake that killed up to 300,000 people eight years ago today. They've been through more, they've withstood more, they fought back against more injustice than our president ever has. And now the Trump response by tweets claiming, quote, the language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. What was really tough was the outlandish proposal made, a big setback for DACA. At the political desk, I'm John Saul. Coming up at 741, we'll have an update on some problems on the eastbound 401 right now at Kelso. Traffic and weather together. 680 News Time, 739. Hey, buddy! What? I'm playing slots right now! Well, you're on a bus. I'm also on Play OLG. It's OLG's online casino. They've got all my favorite casino games and a new app, so I can play anytime, anywhere. Really? I can even buy lottery tickets online! Good for you. What are you playing? Uh